haul of what I got today. We have this very cute moon shaped mirror and a scented candle. <laughs> Good morning, it's Wednesday, the day of the speaking test. The last two days I had like some kind of infection in my eye. That's why I couldn't go to school and I didn't film anything because it was pretty bad. I couldn't even go outside. But I'm so grateful that it's better now and I can participate in the speaking test normally and hopefully go to school again tomorrow. I actually only have 10 school days, like 10 days where I go to school left, which is so crazy to think about. That just makes it so much more precious and I'm really appreciating the time I have left. I'm feeling quite good about the speaking test. I'm not as nervous as I thought I would be. I'll update you on how it goes. I'm just going to read for a bit now before I go to school. I actually have my test at 8.35. I'm quite grateful that it's so early because otherwise I wouldn't really have been able to do anything the whole day because I would just be like nervous and thinking about the whole time and this way I can just get it over with and spend the rest of my day at home. I still have some homework and things I have to catch up on because I wasn't at school the past two days. So I'll do that and I'll also do some studying for the exam I have next week. I truly believe that today will be a good day. I don't know, I just have a good feeling about it. I just can't believe that I'm starting my finals. Like, it's really starting to get serious now and I can't wrap my head around that. It just feels so normal like any other exam. I've done this a few times before, so it doesn't feel that new or different, but this is the real thing. I'm so... <laughs> So I'm done with the test now. It was pretty good actually, I think. I was a lot less nervous than I thought I would be and it just went by so fast. Of course it wasn't perfect and I did have my struggles but I think overall it was quite good. The only thing is that I will only be getting my grade sometime in June so I won't really know how well I did until then. But I will just have to let it go now. It is what it is. It's done. I'm just going to focus on what's ahead of me. Yeah, I'm proud of myself for doing this. This is the first step to graduation. I had leftovers for dinner and this was so good. Mm-hmm. 
Then it got better again, so I went on a walk with my mom. It's hair wash day! Happy license to you. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Wow. Schöne Männer zwei groß. So wie mein Dick. Aber das sieht eigentlich voll gut aus. Easy. Weil sie hat Happiness durchgeschnitten. Oh. Ich bin happy. Happy license. So good. This hot man. This hot man. Yay! Oh, I'm gonna do the edit again. Ah! Part two. No, 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 talk about something because right now like these past few weeks I've been feeling kind of weird I think part of it is because I'm in a very transitional phase of my life right now with only having a few weeks of regular classes left and everything is just kind of different at the moment with my routine and also the weather affects my mood a lot and right now it's not really winter anymore, but it's not quite spring yet, and the weather has been fluctuating a lot. And also, because I was sick last week, and the first part of this week, I didn't really do a lot. Like, I'm very out of routine right now, and it's getting to me. Like, I don't feel like myself sometimes, because I'm really not doing much of the stuff I usually do. I'm not working out as regularly, I'm not studying nearly as much as I would have imagined I would be at this time and for some reason I can't really get myself to read that much either overall I'm just not really the same person I was a few weeks ago and that's not inherently a bad thing but I just feel kind of guilty for not living up to those standards that I set for myself and maybe those standards are very unrealistic and to some extent I really feel like I shouldn't be that hard on myself and actually right now because it's right before my first final exam I feel like this is the time for me to be resting and I should allow myself to rest a lot more which I'm trying to do like I'm just watching a lot of Netflix and having quite unproductive days 
but a part of me just always feels like I should be doing something, I should be doing more. If I'm being honest, I just want to allow myself to take a break and rest because I know that with the holidays and with spring and everything, I will change up my routine completely anyway. So I just feel like I want to really enjoy the last two weeks and even if I'm not as productive as I used to be or as I'm going to be again in the future, I just want to take some time off to recharge my energy. I think that might even be best for me right now. So yeah, all of this is just to say that what I'm showing you right now is not really a normal week in my life. It's not what my life normally looks like. I'm just in a weird transition phase, as I said. So you can just join me on this journey of moving into a new chapter in my life. And I'm definitely excited for the time that's coming very soon, actually. And I can't wait for spring and summer and days where I can fully live that routine that I'm imagining right now. I think sometimes my perfectionism just gets to me and prevents me from having fun and enjoying these less busy times and makes me feel bad for it, for not doing like 100% every day. But I also don't want to burn out right before this very important time. So. I think I'm doing just fine. So in conclusion, I'm just chilling and not feeling bad for it. I hope you liked that video. If you did, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And join me to discover more of the joy of life in the life of joy.